Hello everyone, uh, I'm just recording this after I did my live reaction, uh, this is your heads up. I am going to be talking a little bit about the stuff that's connected to Dragonflight. Nothing overly majorly spoiler I would say, but just a heads up for anybody who wants to go in with a clean slate. Um, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the Dragonflight. With that out of the way, uh, let's talk about the announcements. Uh, we have something really, really exciting today. Although, as I'm looking at it, it's only a minute. <laughs> so this very well might just be a video to just let you know, like, hey, the animated shorts are coming. Uh, but I figured, you know what, let's take a little look at the teaser that's coming out. And um, let's see if I have any reactions to be added to any of this. Um, on the subject of spoilers... And the subject of we might know what's coming ahead. Portagage, Portagouge uh, already sent me a delicious tweet with uh, a little bit of inside knowledge, an NPC in Dragonflight itself. Uh, what we might be looking at for the shorts are three subjects. We're looking at Dawn of the Aspects, we're looking at the fall of Nelfarian, and the origin of the Drakfir. So Dawn of the Aspects would be uh, what we have as a machinima. Uh, that's pretty much the only thing that we have when it comes to bringing Dawn of the Aspects to life. The story itself exists. It is uh, available as a digital book and it's printed, but it's an outside source. It's not actually shown in-game. Uh, odds are that these animated shorts are actually going to talk about the Dawn of the Aspects because it plays a big part in the origin of the dragons. It plays a big part in the story that plays, down, uh, plays out in Dragonflight. And honestly, I'm excited for it. What we noticed with uh, Sylvanas and the whole Jailer storyline is that the moment in which she made contact with the Jailer, that's never really portrayed in the game. Um, we have, again, a machinima up on the channel on it, there was a short story on it, and there was a book on it, but the whole uh, getting in touch with the Jailer was never portrayed. So I'm really excited for Donny Aspects to actually come into the game. Then the fall of Nell Farian, aka Deathwing, my mind was like, that's weird. We have a cutscene that shows how, Death, how Deathwing goes down at the end of the Cataclysm. Chromie shows us that cutscene. Why would they make an, uh, a machinima out of that? Why would they make an animated short? And then it hit me, hang on a minute. Um, the fall of Nell Farian, Nelfarian. It's before they called him Deathwing. So most likely, it's going to be uh, the corruption of the Earth Warder. There is a big gap between turning Nelfarian into an aspect, and by that time, as a pro-dragon in the distance, he could already hear whispers. There's a difference between that, oh, there's, a, there's a distance, there is time between that moment and the moment that we see him show up in the War of the Ancients and, and turn his disc on everybody. In between, he came up with the Dragfear, and in between, he was an Earth Warder, but there's a whole big missing gap of information that they can easily fill in. And then, of course, the origin of the Dragfear. Um, the Dragfear are the new playable race and class uh, that is coming out with Dragonflight. They are new. They are actually 20,000 years ago with an origin point, not so much 10,000 years ago. Um, so their origin, to see, like, okay, what exactly uh, was Nelfarian planning to do? How did they incorporate these mortal aspects into them? What was the plan? Why were they locked up? Um, really, really excited to find out uh, what it's going to be about. So, this teaser, I mean, I'm already rambling three minutes. You know what? We're going to be putting this on the YouTube. If anything, you can hear me ramble and... Um Let's see what the teaser's all about. So we're ready to first screen. It's uh, it's a boy Nosdormu. Oh my god, I'm so hyped for these, by the way. Like, I'm so, you have no idea. Like, the Infinite Dragonflight storyline and, and just the Dawn of the Aspects. Mm. Dragalore, baby, let's go. You must decide which path you will take. Oh. Which story you will tell. An okay. ancient enemy has returned. You will play a part in the events to come. And you will have to make a difficult choice. As we did. Oh! <laughs> I am Nosdormu. Come, there is much I would show you. My story is already written. But yours, and that of all Drak fear, is only beginning to unfold. Nice subtitles, by the way, YouTube. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, you you are not normal, Nosdormu. That is uh, that is definitely a thing. So the official subtitles still need to be added. Okay, so. 
Yeah, that has me excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so definitely down at the aspect. So what are we looking at? Uh, we got a Nosdormu that is talking, I assume, to the Dragfear. So um, do I want to go into spoilers? I'm just going to put up a big spoiler warning at the beginning of the video, and I'm going to cut out this part. Okay, so we're looking at Nosdormu, and I assume that he's talking to the Dragfear. So what happens is that we, uh, as the Dragfear, we come out of these stasises. We come out of these magics placed upon us by Melagos. Um, and, and the whole starting area, it very much reminds me of the Demon Hunter starting experience. Maiev liberating you from your prison. You're not exactly sure what's going on, uh, but quickly you make your way out and you're familiarized with like, okay, this is what's been happening. The Dragfair are also not aware of the madness of Nelfarian. They are unaware of what happens over the past uh, 20,000 years-ish. Uh, here we got a shot of Galagrond, which is... Um, in editing, I'll put up like uh, the image that we have of Galagrond from Dawn of the Aspects. And Galagrond was a beastie. They've actually revealed quite recently with the PTR, with the new dungeon, that Galagrond's corruption has to do with Yaxaron contaminating the bath water. And um, Galagrond started to mutate, grow, became the biggest threat in the sky, and actually started to eat his own kind. This is the original threat in which the Protodragons started to unite together with Keeper Tear. And this is the one threat they brought down, which made Tear realize, like, hey, uh, the world could definitely use more defenders. Let's turn these Protodragons into proper dragons. Let's empower them, call upon our creators. If you want more details about this character, uh, look up our video, Dawn of the Aspects. Okay, so here we have our little proto-dragons. I'm going to assume that that's proto Melagos and proto Alexstrasza, And I think we saw a glimpse of... This looks like the Dragfear are being tossed down into the lava. This looks like Dragfear being rallied to war. War! It is the lifeblood of this world. What do we have here? Is there an Alexstrasza in the background? With, again, more uh, Dragfear around. Okay, so there has been... They're talking about this ancient enemy in, in the trailer. Uh, there's this this war between uh, proto-dragons and normal dragons. A war that we did not know about before. Uh, very much elements versus the ordering magic. So they call it ordering magics, the transformation from proto-dragons into titans. They are from the domain of order. And then you have proto-dragons that are very much connected to nature, elemental ones, storm dragons, as you can see. And they're at war. They have been at war. Um, and obviously a war that was won by... Um, the aspects, as, as history would tell us. And here it seems like our Dragfear absolutely getting wrecked by the Storm Dragon. And then, they're like, oh no, we got locked up? What did we do? Nelfarian, why would you? And Nosdormu talks about hard choices had to be made. Um, we are looking at, uh, of course, our boy Nelfarian standing on the cliff right there in his beautiful fanged armor. Um, this is one of the looks that we get about, now that I re now that I look at it, this is one of the few moments that we actually get to see Nelfarian before he has, like, plates on his mouth. In-game, he has a model, but he would eventually get plates, right? So they also have, like, the metal jaw going on. The one time that we can see him in human form, without the whole transformation bit, uh, is in Uruar. If you go into Yaxaron, he has, like, three visions. One of them is the creation of the Dragon Soul. And there you can see the original aspects in-game. And here we have them in the um, in the short. Cool armor, by the way. Kind of missing your uh, hourglass uh, armor, though, Nosdormu, but that's all right. That's cool. And this shot, by the way, this made me go, ooh, <laughs> like this is uh, this is Deathwing. This is at the end of the Cataclysm. Look at him. Oh man, the madness of Deathwing exposed. So cool. And in correlation with uh, the old god Nazoth, who eventually got, like, credits, once upon a time they were talking about, like, releasing all the old gods from their prisons, the Alvaro Twilight, but eventually that was more focused on the old god Nazoth. And um, this shot right here, very reminiscent of the uh, Hearthstone art that they used to reveal what Nazoth was going to look like, now that I think about it. Very cool. Um, so our boy Nosdormu also talks about how his future, how his destiny is set in stone. And um, our Nosdormu knows his moment of demise, which is going to play a big part, or at least I imagine is going to be playing a big part in the Dragonflight expansion itself. Uh, we're going to be dealing with the birth of the Infinite Dragonflight, Moruzan, Nosdormu, all the good stuff. Um, very much sense of time. Oh, I can't wait to see more like alternate reality nonsense. Yo, I am well excited about that. So, let's see. Uh, 
This very much looks like, Master, why are you abandoning us? Why are you locking us away? I'm very curious what the reasoning is behind Nelfarian locking up the Drakvir. Like, why exactly are they thrown into stasis? Like, what is the choice that he made? And I'm very curious to see what their reasoning is going to be. Ooh, look at this again. Uh, again, we got Proto-Dragons. Ooh, we got multiple colors now. Or do we? Ah, uh, no, no, no. Alexstrasza on the left with her sister Ysera. Then on the right, we got Melagos, Nosdormu, and Nelfarian. And up in the sky, there are more dragons fighting. In the distance, we see Galagrand. One of its horns been broken. Nom, 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 nom. I will fight you. This right here is an interesting shot because, like I said, we were talking about three different storylines. One of the origin of the Drakfear, one of the uh, Dawn of the Aspects so fighting against Galagrand, and then the fall of Nelfarian. And as we know... It was during the War of the Ancients, as I go over it a time and time again during our deep dive onto the Dragonflights. Um, it was during the War of the Ancients where he revealed his madness to the others. And he turned the Dragosol, not just on the demons, but also on his fellow aspects and the defenders of the world. And I imagine that seeing that we're fighting the demons here, that that is this moment being portrayed. Unless... You know, there have been multiple invasions from the Legion. It could be a thing. Here we're back at fighting Storm Dragons again. Here we're back at fighting Galagrand again. Multiple eyes, by the way. Now that we have confirmed that they are talking about Galagrand um, having an old god corruption in there, those multiple eyes definitely calls back to uh, the old gods. And of course, united using their individual strengths, they bring it to life. Oh, it makes me so happy to see this like proper Blizzard quality. I tweeted about this a couple of days ago, so it's really, really nice to see that we get an announcement now. Uh, Terran, I, I don't know if you ever see this, but... Um, like I, I always, I always love these shorts and these cutscenes and these cinematics. Uh, these are the ones that I can freely get hyped about, and I can just be like, you know what? I'm just excited. I'm just excited to see these story bits being brought to life, and to see the Dawn of the Aspects actually on screen, to learn more about this history, to learn more about the Drag Fear and all that. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. Um, if you're looking for older ones, like we're looking at something like uh, Daughter of the Sea, or maybe the uh, Burns of Xiaohao, or audio dramas, like there's so much content that they have going on in the World of Warcraft channel, I would highly recommend to check it out. And again, I'm just uh, super duper hyped to see where this is going to go. Yeah, I am... Um I am well excited. Do we get a sea shanty? I doubt it, but we're going to see the origin of Galagrand. And we're going to see Deathwing's fall, and we're going to see... Nosdormu narrating, and we're going to see Storm Dragons. I am hyped about these. Let me know what you think, team. And uh, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Right, I think I've been rambling on for long enough. <laughs> Until next time. See ya.